Hello to our fans online. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with our top stories on this Friday, December 20th. Rainy weather may be to blame in back-to-back -back tour bus crashes in Southern California. They happened on the same highway miles apart Thursday afternoon in San Diego County. A multi-vehicle accident caused one bus to flip on its side, killing one person, injuring 22. In the other accident, the, flip, the bus flipped on its side as well. 20 passengers were hurt in that accident. Both buses were either on their way to or from a casino. High drama at a London playhouse last night. It wasn't in the script. The ceiling of the Apollo Theater collapsed just before intermission, bringing down some of its three balconies. The 112-year-old theater is one of the city's tallest. 25 ambulances, a helicopter had to rush to the scene as audience members were evacuated. 81 people were hurt, seven of them seriously. Audience members said they thought it was part of the show at first when the ceiling started to fall. There were screams and panic, but the evacuation was fast and orderly. Well, Guy in Tampa has spent hours being publicly humiliated instead of being charged with attacking a young woman. There he is, sitting near a busy intersection, holding a sign that says, I beat women, honk if I'm a scumbag. The, and wearing a dunce cap, by the way. That was the guy's punishment for apparently beating 20-year-old Alicia Hessler yesterday night. She gave him an ultimatum, wear the sign and the cap or face charges. An official with Tampa's Domestic Violence Center, though, says that this stunt trivializes a very serious issue. All right, here's an adorable youngster to publicly congratulate. She's only nine years old. She's a bowler from Florida. Her name is Hannah Deem. Hannah was at her usual bowling league night when she just couldn't stop throwing strikes. In fact, she threw nothing but strikes, making Hannah the youngest American to ever throw a perfect 300 game. Wow. Her mom says Hannah has been shaking as she neared the end of that game, but she set aside her nerves and she made it happen. Congrats to her, nine years old and a 300. My goodness. That's pretty good. Wonder if she could do it again, like on command. Uh, I Let's bet go you she'll get close. Again. If you can bowl a 300, you can probably bowl a 280 pretty often. I'm good for at least 120. Are you? Oh, yeah. How about you? <laughs> I might be able to crack 100. Cracking 100 is probably not so bad for me, too. Of course, right. I bowl once every five years, but that, cracking 100. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> for more news anytime, babysnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.